So if you're struggling with sketching, you can actually go right over top of your picture and you could sketch right over the painting if you want to. If that makes it easier, um, you can do that. So you can do your sketching, you know, right over and kind of lay out your areas with your tablet. I'm making this very sketchy right now. Um, just, you know, work with it. Try to get a feel for the tablet and like the lines and like how it draws. Um, it takes a little while to get used to this tablet. The sketching, to be honest with you, the sketching is the hardest part. And you can zoom way in if it's easier. Like look at how sketchy my lines are. Um, when you zoom in, if you hold the space bar, you can go back and forth side to side. But look at, I can go and like, really zoom in and just try to slowly do some of these lines. It just takes a little bit of practice. So I'm getting better. See, the more I do it. So, you know, you can do kind of sketchier lines, but basically you are kind of laying out where you're going to put your colors and things like that. So I might want to go in and actually do like this line even. Let's see, now I'm doing like little sketchy lines and now I find, kind of found my footing here. So you can trace right over it. The cool thing is um, when you're done, and I'm just going to rush for purposes of my demo here. So, okay. When I'm done here with all my drawings, I can go back over it and clean it up with my eraser and things like that but I just want the basic shapes. I can then go to my arrow tool because this is on its own layer. I can click on the ink and I can drag it over here. So I'm going to control minus and zoom out <laughs> and I can drag it over my sketch over off to the side. And I can even make this bigger if I want to remember control T because this sketch is on its own layer. I can press control T and I can enlarge it. So I can put it off to the side here and then I can hit enter and now my sketch is a lot bigger because you want it pretty big so you can see the detail. And obviously I would go in and finish that up. So you'll get the hang of it. So you want to just lay out your basics for your sketch. You're going to have a sketch layer on its own. When you're done, just lock it up. And um, we should at this point probably save this. So file, the first time you save, you're going to go to file. You're going to go to save as. You're going to save it to your computer. And then you're going to call this, I'm going to put my first name, Monica dash fruit. That's fine. <laughs> or you could say grapefruit or something. You want to save it as a Photoshop file and you want to put it in your photo or I'm sorry, your graphic design folder in your OneDrive. So you just want to make sure you keep everything in the right folders. Um, so there's my OneDrive. And I just want to find my graphic design one folder. Here it is. And I click on that and I just um, save it there. So it's going to save as a blue Photoshop file, but that's a working file and it's going to preserve your layers. So then when you reopen it, um, you can go back in and your layers will all be there. So now as I work, I can just press control S every once in a while and it'll just continue to save to my file. 